That's how some people drive around with their burbles. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today. You guys, today we are comparing burble setups. So I had someone DM me and they were like, hey man, just for shits, you should turn the burbles all the way up on your car and see what happens. And I was like, actually, I wonder what would happen. Like how gnarly would it get? Because this car is effectively straight piped when the Valvetronic Designs exhaust is fully open. Um, no resonation whatsoever. So. I haven't heard what that sounds like on the Super V58 when the burbles are like maxed out. Now, disclaimer, I am not a like heavy burble fan. I'll show you guys the current burble setup I'm running now and I'm gonna kind of compare the uh, the setups for what I have now to like what I'm going to do, which is going to be obnoxiously stupid and, <laughs> and ridiculous, but we're gonna do it anyways just for fun. I'm a little bit of an older dude, so I don't love to be riding around with like my burbles on hot boy mode all the time. But look, if I'm like on the freeway and I feel like getting a little rowdy, I do want some pops, you know what I mean? I like having the, I like having those variations that I can decide between. And honestly, the Valvetronic exhaust allows me to do that without having to change anything on the fly. Or you could of course just go into comfort mode, but I always keep this car in sport mode just how I like to ride. So right now the exhaust valve is actually closed. Um, pretty quiet, can hardly hear the burbles. It does have like a couple of little burbles, but it's very reserved. Now I am tuned right now on boot mode, uh, stage two, 93 octane. So this is just your basic off the shelf stage two boot mode map. I'll have boot mode linked down below if you guys are interested in running it on your cars, but it's a fantastic platform to tune your cars. We're gonna head over to a remote location in Mexico <laughs> and plug the phone in to the OBD2 port, and then I'll bring up my boot mode settings to kind of show you guys what I have and we'll play around with it. I am like ashamed of myself right now. This has got to be the dirtiest my car, this car has ever been, like inside and out. Do you guys get anxiety when your car gets like super dirty? <laughs> One of the reasons I really like boot mode is because everything is cloud-based, so you can do it anywhere. You just plug your phone into the OBD2 port and then uh, fire up the boot mode app and then you can change your maps, your settings and all that good stuff. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Let's head to the spot so we can get a little rowdy. So this is valves closed. Sounds, it actually sounds really good with the valves closed. <laughs> sounds amazing with the valves open though. This thing rips. So yeah, that's how it currently sounds inside the car. Clock, 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 clock. It's like four, three or four. It's not crazy though. It's not like obnoxious. When the car warms up, it does get aggressively louder. It doesn't happen more, but the pops are a little bit more intense just because the engine is then warmed up. I don't think it sounds too bad. It's not too like hot boy. It's still fun to like have them pop every now and then. I'll say like 80, 90% of the time, kind of when I'm rolling around my area, I keep the valves closed just to be respectful and not like too ridiculous. But you know, when I'm out with the boys and we're mobbing around, I wanna have, I wanna be loud, man. I wanna be, I wanna be out there, I wanna be outside. So when I open it up and I have like a couple of burbles, it's just outside energy, I like it. It's fun, it's a little bit of rowdiness. And I feel like this burble settings right now, it's like the perfect medium. But I have heard people who roll around with like ridic like ridiculous burble settings and that's just too much for me. If anything, I would go less than what I have now. Like maybe if I was like 100% right now, I'd be like 75%. So it's it's close to where I want it. All right, just got to the spot. So opened up boot mode. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm currently doing here. This one, go to configure. So that's my current setup. Super, super duper minimal. Duration's all the way down. Uh, aggression is like hardly even there. So let me get out and kind of show you what it sounds like. All right. So we're gonna start out with some revs here.
So it's definitely loud, <laughs> but I mean, this exhaust is just really loud because everything is straight through right now. Now let's go ahead and turn the burbles all the way up and see what happens. All right, so here's what I'm going with. Duration sport all the way up, aggression sport all the way up, min speed all the way down, max speed all the way up, min RPM all the way down, max RPM all the way up. So that should be like the most aggressive setup you can do. Save it, and now we will reflash it. I'm terrified to hear how obnoxious this sounds. <laughs> That's gonna be so ridiculous. All right, now we wait five seconds, we start the car. <laughs> oh buddy. All right, so from inside the cockpit, first drive, let's see. Crazy. Seems pretty tame actually. <laughs> it's definitely doing it more. Ah, there it goes. Oh, God, it's so loud. Oh yeah, it's definitely way more. It's not as bad as I thought it would be though. I thought it would be like blah, 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 blah. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Oh yeah, it's pretty obnoxious. It's not awful though. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's bad. It's definitely bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's hear what it sounds like outside of the car. Oh, that is insanely loud. It's piercing. It's like ear piercingly loud. <laughs> well, there you go. So that's what the burbles sound like when they are fully maxed out. Um, yeah, like I said before, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> A bit dramatic. <laughs> it's way too much attention being called to you. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to hang out at this spot until someone comes and kicks me out. But um, so there you go. Maxed out burbles, that's what it sounds like. I like to have like a couple of pops in there, but pretty, pretty low key. I think once you get past that, it just becomes obnoxious and you just piss off people on the road. And that's like the last thing we need is more negative attention coming to the car community. We already piss off enough people as it is. But it is cool that it's so easy to change it on your phone or tablet, just in the car with an OBD2 cable. Eventually, I do know that boot mode will be completely wireless and they do have all the map switching and rolling anti-lag coming out soon. It's gonna be interesting once that pops up. Anyways, you guys, I hope that answered your question. If you have any questions for me, drop a comment down below. Any video ideas, anything you wanna see, drop them down below. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Please make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.